at any point are you going to be used to living in the bubble because you have now been in two bubbles with the World Juniors and uh, the Calgary bubbles? Yeah, I mean, it's different. Like, obviously, you can't go outside. Like, in the bubble at World Juniors, the only outside action we saw was walking from the hotel door to the bus. So about a 15-foot gap, um, that was it. You were stuck between the rink. Couldn't walk between the rink and the hotel, which kind of sucks. So um, you were limited on the time you had at the rink. Um, unlike Team Canada, where they spent several hours a day there. Lucky them. But um, in the other what words, I mean, what's that? Are they giving you guys entertainment during the bubble? Bubble, I mean, literally, you're you're locked there. What, twenty hours a day? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, um, like the first four days we we're there, we couldn't leave our rooms. So they brought the food to us. Um, the COVID test, like the lady would show up to your door and um, you know tickle your nose or whatever. But um, so basically, it was just like you're laying in bed all day. Um, you know, once we were able to get out, uh, we were able to have a, a meal room, which was kind of nice. Um, basically our only spot between our, our actual hotel rooms and the rink, um, that we were allowed to go to. So, um, we had some, we had a ping pong table there, which a lot of us spent a lot of time there. Um, that was kind of the only fun activity around that could take your mind off of hockey, but, um, you know, it was the same food every day, three times a day, which kind of like, it wasn't bad food, but it just like, it's, gets boring after a while. So, um, yeah. You know, there's there's the positives and the negatives to it. I mean, obviously, just stay safe and all that's good. But um, definitely a bunch of uh, weird things that go along with it. But um, I mean, if you're able to play hockey, it's uh, it's an added bonus. So I mean, you can't count can't cut that out for sure.